Hey everyone, Craig Reckless. Today we're gonna to be doing Hit Me Like a Man by uh, The Pretty Reckless. So it's pretty simple, let's dig right in. So it's gonna start out, so it's gonna go E, G, A, and those are gonna be power chords. Then it's gonna go E, G, A again, and we're gonna slide on the A. And do it again then see the pattern there so we do we're gonna go the first time we're gonna go e g a second time we're gonna go e g a slide third time we're gonna go e g a and fourth time we're gonna go e g a slide so it just repeats that twice <laughs> do a little slide there we're gonna go so that's gonna be on a six string we're just gonna slide from wherever our hand is up real high and come back down then we're gonna go so what I'm doing there is I'm playing the six string open then I'm going and what I'm doing there is I'm going my third finger and first fingers are gonna go seven five seven on the fifth string See that? Then we're gonna go over to the sixth string. And we're gonna go seven five five. So this is gonna be on a sixth string again. So we're gonna see that we're we'll coming back to the sixth string. So we're gonna hit the, the A twice, which is the fifth string on the sixth or the fifth fret on the sixth string. So we're hitting that twice. Then we're gonna hit it again. Then we're gonna go five, open three. Back to the five. So what I'm doing there, watch this. So how we do? I do this riff. I'm gonna go open on the uh, six string, then th uh, seven five seven. So it's my third finger, first finger, third finger. Then I'm gonna go third finger, first finger. Go. I'm gonna go seven five five. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in this position with my first finger on the fifth fret, sixth string. So I'm gonna hit it, hit it. Uh, so I'm gonna hit it in it. Open and we're going three five, and I'm so I'm going. And so what I'm trying to say is that this we're we're like jumping from this box here from five to seven to this box here from three to five. So when you know your uh, your finger's gonna move and this is, this is gonna play this twice to two different positions. Just playing it a couple of times just to show you what I'm doing, okay? So now it does that one time, it goes the second time it goes. So the second time we're gonna go, we're only gonna play that beginning riff once. We're gonna go. Alright, so what I'm doing there is I'm going open six string, five, or I'm going seven, five, seven on the uh, fifth string. Then go, then I'm gonna go. Then I'm gonna go seven five five on the sixth string, and then we're gonna go. So now we're gonna mute that, and we're gonna go three, two, one. And I'm just using my first finger because I'm gonna go. And then I'm gonna slide it right back into doing this riff again. So we're doing that riff again, like the like the first time we did it, and the, the so this time. The fourth time we do it, we're gonna go. We're just gonna go. So it's open, uh, seven five seven on the fifth string, then seven uh, five five on the sixth string. See that's. And then the guitar drops right out, and this the bass is just pretty much going. 
Okay, so let the bass and the keyboard take over there. If uh, if there's no bass, the keyboard, you know, try to follow along. It's pretty much just the the A G A, and then the, the A's. The, if it goes to A, it's going. And then it's probably going. So, but when, when when we come back in, we come back in when uh, the bass player is c coming in and on on the E, we're gonna go. So we're going E G A again. And there's a pause. And then it's like. So. And we pretty much did this, but I'll show you what we're doing. So now we're doing this riff again. It's going to be the, uh, it's just going to be in, in the chorus when, the, when the, the girl's singing. So we're going to go open sixth string, and it's going to be seven five seven on the fifth string, and so it's going to be, and it's going to be seven five five on the uh, um, sixth string. And we're hitting the five again. See how I'm doing everything like fours. So I go, and I'm gonna go on five, open three, five on the sixth string. And that's the riff. We're gonna go. So we're gonna do that three full times. Then the fourth time, we're gonna go. See that? So the fourth time we're gonna go. We're, so what we're doing there is we're going open seven, five, seven on the fifth string. Then we're going seven, five on the sixth string. Then we're going. We're now we're going G A. Those are the power chords. So that's th three and five. Then we're gonna do the riff one more time. Now we're doing the riff in A instead of E, so it's the same riff. We're just moving it over one string. So we're open. We're gonna play open on the uh, A, uh, which is the fifth string. So we're gonna go open on the fifth string, then seven five seven on the fourth string. So seven five seven five. If I've been doing this wrong, sorry. We're going seven five seven five. Yeah, so I think I've been leaving that last five out, but so it's been so it's gonna be seven five seven five. So now we're gonna come over to the fish ring and go seven five 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 open three five. Now we're gonna go so now we're gonna play B D B, which is the seventh fret on the bar chords, the tenth fret, the seventh. Then we're gonna go. And we're playing that twice, and then we're gonna go back into the the bass and the uh, piano is playing. So now I wanted to show you another thing too. When the guy is playing that riff in the chorus. He kind of does like this. He throws this in every now and then. He'll go. So he's doing like a little pull off. But he's doing that without missing the beat, getting back to where he's supposed to be. So all you're doing is doing. You're pulling off from seven to five, on, and then going to the. Uh, that's on the fifth string, and then going to the seventh fret on the um, sixth string without missing a beat. So try that out. And you can also do like a. If you want to add like a another riff to it, go seven six five. So seven six five would be on this uh, sixth string. See there. So you can mix it up, make it your own thing, do a little different things, but make sure everybody's kosher in the band with it too. All right.
so then it does so it does that or so so where we left off it was going into the uh uh the second verse where the piano in the uh uh bass are taken over so now this time when you come out of the uh the uh the second verse we're gonna we're gonna come in on the C we're gonna go <laughs> As we're going we're gonna play the C on the sixth string which is gonna be the uh, eighth fret we're gonna go and we're going to the B which is seventh fret and then we're playing the D that's the fifth fret on the uh, fifth string the D see that one then it goes to the riff again does that chorus again we've done the chorus so now coming out of this chorus I think they might play it a little bit longer but the last time we're doing the EGA we're gonna go we're gonna go B C and the guitar cuts right out it's gonna be bass and keyboard so I play this with my other band and uh Sometimes I'll do this and sometimes I'll do that and I'll show you what I mean by this and that So sometimes I don't play at all, which is nice because I like to hear, hear them carrying it But there's other times you can you can actually do follow along doing like a Uh, do some volume swells with that too especially if you have a fender F F fenders are great for that um gibson's not so much but what we're doing is we're going my first finger is going to be so if so take note of this there's just the two different ways we're playing this is i'm going to show you one time so the two different ways is you can play it one note and like a, a cello you can just give it that or or you can play the bar chord so so also doing, we're, you're, we're basing it off the bass note, so you can either play the bar chord from where we are, or or just a single note and make it sound like a cello. So what we're doing is we're playing the third fret fifth string, then going to third fret sixth string, then to the fifth fret fifth string, then seventh fret fifth string, then to the fifth string fifth fret. Then three on the uh, fifth string, and then three on the sixth string. Either can, you can either do the seventh fret on the sixth string or the second fret on the fifth string. So then it so it does that twice, and now so the, the we'll do that twice. Mix it up, do both ways. So this is when the guitar really comes in. So the guitar is going to come in. So we're going to be on the B there, okay? We're going to be B here on the fifth fret, or B here on the sixth, seventh fret, uh, sixth string. So now we're going to play E, where I just we're going to play E low and E high. We're going to go. So what we're doing there is we're going to play E down here low. Then we're playing E on the 7, 9 of the 5th and the 4th strings going, and we're sliding down. See that? The first time we're sliding down. The second time we're, we're cutting out quick staccato and stopping it and we're not holding it out. See 
know where I'm stopping at. So we're gonna do that, I think, what, three times? Let's see. Yeah, three times, then it goes. So he does something along those lines, and I kind of added my own thing. So since I'm doing my own thing, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna go. So what I do there is I'm, I'm pretty much playing triplets. I'm playing triplets backwards. I'm going. All right, that's a mouthful, wasn't it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. We're going. So I'm going seven, five. That's gonna be a third string, then seven on the fourth string. Or no, that's the fourth string. So seven, five on the fourth string, and then seven on the uh, fifth string. So then we're going back to the fourth string, five. Then we're going seven, five on the fifth string. Then we're going seven, five on the fifth string. Then we're going over to the sixth string, seven. See that? So it's going, everything's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So keep that in mind. These are triplets. So we're left off there. So we're going. So that's going to be uh, fifth fret, fifth string, seventh fret, fifth fret, six strings. See that? So let's see. I'm going to see where I left off because I like to, like I said, I'm adding my own thing here. I'm going. Right I left off there, so we're going. So now we're going 7 5 on the fifth string, 7 on the sixth string, then, then fifth string. Fifth fret, seven five on the sixth string. Then seven five on the sixth string. So then we're going seven five three on the sixth string. Then five three open on the sixth string. See that? I'm gonna do it real slow again. And then it's going to go back into. Now we're going to only do this one time. So this is going to be the chorus stuff. We already did this. So we're going to do this, the riff, instead of three times, we're going to do it one time. We're going to go. Then we're going to do the, the A riff one time. Then we're going to do the D. Then we're going to go. We're going to do this four times. So now what we're doing there is we're going to do a similar riff, but it's a different riff. So now we're going to go. So what I'm doing there is I'm going open on the sixth string. Then I'm going seven, five, seven. Then I'm going to go seven, six, open on the uh, sixth string. See that? So, but when I hit the open on the sixth string, I'm starting to riff over. You get what I'm saying? So we're going. So if we're we're ending it, it's going. Because we're starting it over. Then we end on the E. You see what I'm saying? So let's do this slow motion. That's how you hit me like a man. Have a great day. Like a man.